16 News update, uh, and it's one that has seemingly gone on for years, the I-30 crossing project. It's still ongoing. But RDOT is deploying a new method to this product. Jay Burr is here to explain what that means. Jay. Yeah, good evening, guys. It's called the build design method, normally reserved for big building projects, but RDOT will be employing this method for the first time for a highway project here in Arkansas. And the theory is it's supposed to save time and money since the design team and construction team work in conjunction with each other throughout the entire process. And with this project approaching $600 million just in phase one, changes that would potentially be made during construction will be a lot more streamlined. Sometimes those the making changes in those plans can be a painstaking process, but with a design build team working together from from the very, very yeah. beginning of this project all the way through the construction of the project, changes are easy to incorporate into the actual work. RDOT also says that crews will be out starting February 10th through February the 19th between the hours of 8 p.m. and 6 a.m. on those days conducting environmental tests as part of the reevaluation process of the I-30 crossing project. And there will also be some lane closures involved in those tests as well. We've got that information up on our website, fox16.com. For now, live from Little Rock, Jay Burr, Fox 16 News. All right, Jay, thank you. And later this month, the Arkansas Department of Transportation will hold a public involvement meeting to improve Highway 79 in Jefferson County. Officials want to discuss plans to widen the highway south of Pine Bluff between Couch Lane and Pinewood Drive. The meeting will be held on Tuesday, February 18th at Liberty Hill Baptist Church. It begins at 4 and is expected to last until 7 p.m. Well, it's